this is going to be a next vegan transformation video. Here I have three photos of one of my viewers, her eyes, and her ex-vegan transformation. I feel like her transformation is very subtle, but to me, I can definitely see the difference mainly in her eyes and the appearance of life that her eyes give now. Now, if you didn't know, which I think some people might be able to tell, in the top photo, she is vegan. In the middle photo, we've never seen a long-term vegan with eyes like this, with just that spark of life and that intensity. And in the bottom, vegan. Why am I looking so closely at her eyes? Because her eyes are reminding me of so many vegans. They lose that spark of life. They start to look a little more, I don't know, like their eyes are just not focused like that. Just for observation purposes, I want to compare her eyes to Freely's eyes over the years, even though Freely, she's taken it way further than my viewer took it. Like, my viewer got out of veganism in the nick of time. Freely has taken it so that her eyes really, really changed. I'm not talking about the eyelids and the sunken eyes, I'm talking about the look in the actual eyes, the loss of just that vitality and that spark and that intensity and just that warmth of life inside the body. <laughs> How else can I say it? Hopefully at least some people can understand what I'm trying to display here. And I know vegans will say, oh, makeup, makeup. Makeup does not make you look happy. If you look angry and you put on makeup, you're still going to look angry. If you're making the same face, if you are still angry, you're just going to look angry and prettier. When you look at Freely's eyes in this image in the middle, it just looks like someone that is happy, alive, you know someone that can get up and do things and then the top and the bottom image it looks like someone that has seen a lot of trauma someone that had a struggle their whole life and was probably an orphan vegan on the left and ex-vegan on the right just looks so much more content that's another good word to describe it content life and intensity and vitality in the eyes content calm you don't look like you're hungry and searching Here's another set of photos to compare. I feel like she looks totally different. Totally different in a good way. I love these ex-vegan transformations. I have yet to see an ex-vegan send me some photos of themselves where they look worse. Where they look grayer and sicker even though they tell you meat will kill you and make you sick. Everybody is looking better. Everybody's looking like a different person in a good way. Everybody goes from looking like a hungry peasant to just content and happy and vital and alive and they just look like they are just not as stressed out yeah a lot of the vegans look stressed out um usually for no reason they just look stressed because your cells are stressed trying to assimilate all this stuff <laughs> trying to assimilate all these beans and into things that you need because your body never had to survive like that before and now it's fighting fighting to stay alive all day every day but yeah, maybe I will start a video series showing the vegans' eyes deadening over time because it happens to so many of them. The only ones that I see kind of getting away with it is some men, they don't get the dead eyes look. But all the women, I would say 99 to 100%, they all start looking dead in the eyes. And I guess because every month you are becoming more and more dead as a woman on a vegan diet. But anyway, thank you to my viewer for sending me these photos and showing us yet another amazing ex-vegan transformation.